Did you know one of the best ways to build a six-figure art business is to never try to sell your art? You might be thinking, that's crazy, but that's exactly what I've done in my career, helping hundreds of artists create thriving and sustainable online art businesses. The truth is that one of the single most important things you can do as an artist is find, connect with, and engage with your ideal buyers. They are the lifeblood of your art business. They're the people that will be there with you high and low, and they're the people that will support you as an artist to buy your art consistently and predictably. And consistent and predictable sales are what leads to five, six, and even seven figure businesses. You don't need to sell to your ideal buyers. They don't expect you to sell to them. These are the people who have a need for the art that you're creating. And when you can understand what that need is, they'll become fully invested in you. So how do you break through the noise, discover and get through to your ideal buyers? There are three strategies that you really need to know. Number one, you must be able to tell the difference between an ideal buyer and a fan. A fan will follow you on social media, cheer you on, but they won't necessarily buy your work. Fans are nice to have, but they're not the lifeblood of your business. Number two, you must discover what your ideal buyers really resonate with within your work. Your job as an artist is to read behavior. You must learn to listen. What happens when you listen, you'll be able to discover your ideal buyer's needs. Number three, you must position yourself and your offers to show your ideal buyers you understand their needs. When you know what your ideal buyer's needs are, only then can you address them and build upon them. So your relationship with your ideal buyers is a two-way street. They get what they need from your art and their support gives you the ability to continue to do what you love. There are millions of artists trying to sell online and people don't have time to focus on everything. So when you can do these three things, you'll then begin to stand out in an overly saturated online space. No matter how talented you are, you can't run a successful art business by blindly putting your art out there. Nobody is going to come along, tap you on the shoulder, and out of nowhere, make your dreams come true. Even if it looks easy on the outside, Successful artists have done the hard work to get where they are. They always, always will know who their ideal buyers are and they will always, always be connecting to and engaging with them. I don't like the word marketing. I actually wanna remove it from the English language because when you are truly connected to your ideal buyers, you're not marketing to them, you're having a conversation with them and you're selling without selling. So how do you differentiate yourself from all the other artists out there? You understand how to stand out in a saturated market. Top business owners do this to survive. Beauty companies do this to sell the same shade of red lipstick that millions of others are selling. You have to focus on what makes you and your art completely and truly unique. This is how to connect with your ideal buyers because the reason they're your ideal buyers is because they're inspired and motivated by the unique story you tell through your art. This is the power of what's called your signature story. Without it, it's impossible to run a successful art business and your ideal buyers won't know your signature story unless you share it with them. When you do that, these buyers will start to find you. They'll understand what sets you apart. They'll really relate to you, both as the artist and through your art. So let me ask you this. What is one aspect of your art you know makes it different than anyone else's? Share your thoughts in the comments. I look so forward to hearing what you have to say and carrying on this conversation.